Hi guys, it's Jezere. I'm back for a Stacking the Shelves post, number 18. I got a ton of books this week, so I'm just gonna go straight into it and not waste any time. First two books I got, um, I actually bought them from Barnes & Noble with a gift card. And the first one is Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone. Um, I've been dying to read this one. Uh, I know it's about time travel, I think. Not really sure, but it's been on my wish list forever now. The second book I bought with that gift card is The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I'm super excited to read this one because, you know, of course, Noah Shaw. I've missed him so much. And I might have to reread Unbecoming because I don't really, you know, remember and I need to refresh my mind. The third book I actually won from a giveaway from Momo at Books Over Boys. And she was the one who gave me the gift card for my birthday for those last two books. Um, from her anniversary giveaway, I won An Arc of Guilt by Katherine Longshore. Uh, I've been dying to read this one. Um, never got a chance to pick it up when it released, but I'm super happy that I won it. Thanks, Momo. You're the best. The next set of books is actually one from Aisha from World Word Spelunking. Um, she was giving away a box of arcs during her anniversary, and I won it! Yay! So, okay, the first book in that box was The Whispering House by Rebecca Wade. I've never heard about this one before but I love the cover and I think it's an MG. Not really sure but I love it. Next one is Smart Girls Get What They Want by Sarah Sh Not even gonna try to pronounce that last name but I've heard about this one. I heard it's really good and I'm definitely dying to get into it. Next one is 10 by Gretchen McNeil. I was super, super duper happy to have won this. Uh, I love Gretchen. I love Possess. So I cannot wait to, you know, finally get into this. And I'm going to see her at a signing sometime this month. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I love Aisha's review for 10. It was amazing. Next one is Liar and Spy by Rebecca Steed, and I think this one is an MG. Haven't heard of this, um, but I think it's a pretty short read, so I can definitely, you know, get into this one. Looks fun, though. Next one is Don't Turn Around by Michelle Gagnon. Um, I love the cover to this one. Look at how the hands just, like, it looks like it's coming out of the cover, and it's just amazing. Um, I haven't really heard much about this one but I think it looks good. Um, the next one is Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson and I've heard so many great things about this and um, Jenna from Shorty says love this book so I'm definitely going to read this one very soon. The next one is Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter I think that's how you say it. Yay I wanted to pick this one up the second it came out but you know budget and everything. I can't wait to get into this. I heard a lot of good things. The next one is The Other Normals by Ned Vizzini. Um, I've never heard of this one before, um, to be honest. I don't even know what it's about. I haven't gotten a chance to read the back of the book, but it looks pretty good. So if you read it, let me know how it is. Um, the next one is Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore, and honestly, I have not even read the first two books. Graceling and Fire, and um, I don't even know if I need to read those to read this, so let me know. And um, this book is huge, like freaking like monster size. So I'm gonna take it's gonna take a while for me to get to this one, but let me know if I mean I heard mixed reviews about this one, but you know let me know if I should if I definitely should or have to read the second first two books. I might as well, right? The next one is. Every day, what the heck, David Levithon. Um, I was so upset that I didn't even request this on Nightgalley when I first saw it because everybody was raving about this book. And um, I was super thrilled to um, see that this was in the box. And um, yeah, I was super happy because I want to read this one super soon. And the last book that was in that box of arcs is Drain You by... And Beth Bloom, and, and I've heard some really mixed reviews about this one, um, but I definitely want to give it a try. I'm not sure what it's about, but I have it on my wish list, so I, that means I definitely wanted it, so yay, I have it. 
So thank you, Aisha, for all those awesome books. You are amazing. Um, but also in that box, she also added um, some cupcake swag goodies because she loves cupcakes. And Aisha, you're awesome because I love cupcakes too. So she got me a cupcake pen, which is the cutest thing. Look at that. And I love that. It's the pretty color. I'm so I'm so using this for school. I don't care if people look at me like I'm strange because um, this is awesome. She got me a cupcake air freshener. It smells good, guys, and I'm so putting this somewhere. And it's so cute too. I want to freaking eat it, but it's not real, so I can't eat it. And she got me is cupcake stickers, and I love stickers. I have some kind of weird fascination with stickers, and it's strawberry scented and i love that scratch and sniff it really it really does smell like strawberries guys um and then she also got me a cute mini cupcake tote bag and it's so adorable guys i just want to like tug this around everywhere and she also gave me a ton of swag pod sticker cinder sticker sweet shadow sticker a Deity island sticker kareem jackson sticker and it's signed I guess this could also be a book plate too if you, you know, look at it that way. Book plate from Megan Miranda, signed book plate. Sticker of The Vicious Deep. And a cinder bookmark. Yay, I finally have a cinder bookmark. Evergreen bookmark. I still need to read. Yay, it's so pretty. Sweet Shadows bookmark, which I have this book and I need to read it and I'm excited that I have a matching bookmark. A signed If I Lie by Kareen Jackson bookmark which goes with that sticker, a Seeing Cinderella bookmark. I've never heard of this book before, but it sounds uh, awesome. The Torn Wing bookmark, it's signed to by Kiki Hamilton. And I haven't even read the first book, which is The Fairy King, right? Yeah, ring, fairy ring, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, and I need to read that, I need to pick this one up. Sounds good. Next one, Small, Medium, At Large. And it's signed, and I have never heard of this book before. There, it's signed. There, it's pretty cool. Mist by Catherine James, and I love this. It's so pretty. I need to look this one up. I haven't even heard of this one before. But yeah. Oh, and it's signed. It's signed, too. I didn't even see that. And then the last one is a Kareem Jackson If I Live postcard, which is also signed, which is awesome. I don't even, I don't even know if I have this book. And I know I want it because it's on my wish list, but yeah. So that's all I got this week. Lots of books, lots of swag, lots of goodies. Um, let me know what you got this week in the comments below. Um, I'll link everything if you want to, you know, check those books out. And um, don't forget to comment and rate and subscribe or whatever. Thank you. Thank you guys. See you all next week.